Well, good morning. It is a great day for boat building. It is Sunday, finally a day where I can get on the boat here and do a little bit of work. I um, want to show you a little bit about what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Um, let me get over to some of the things that I want to accomplish here. Okay, first things first is yeah, goal today is to make some laminates, three-eighths of an inch thick, as you can see here. And I'm going to make them out of some wood that I cut out just over three inches high. And the goal is to make interior walls. Um, I didn't want to paint the inside and leave the ribs. Um, I really thought with how beautiful this floor turned out that it would be a shame to do that. So uh, I am going to put interior walls on them just strictly for aesthetics and uh, cover the insides all together. Um, and how I'm going to do that is set up right over here. I've got some wood set up on a jig that I that I put together here. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but it's just a little 3 8 fence, uh, 3 8 inch gap fence. I'm using a feather board to hold the thing in place, some clamps to hold my jig down on both sides and top, and I've got something in the groove down there on the table um, to hold it all in place. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you down here and set up to cut this out and we'll get a shot of it. <laughs>
So you're probably wondering how that thing turned out. And uh, it's not bad, um, but it does need sanded out. You can see where the, the marks from the bandsaw are on there. It's nothing a little bit of 100 grit won't take out. Um, but I like the consistency. The consistency of these cuts is consistent throughout the board. I've got a nice 90 degree fence, 90 degrees on the, on the blade. And so it's really turned out pretty nice, uh, regardless of the fact that uh, the cut is not the best. And I probably don't have the very best uh, blade for, for this on there. Uh, it is a, a 4 TPI uh, ripping blade, um, but the gullets are probably not as deep as they should be uh, to get a bit of a cleaner cut. Um, but for just ripping pine like this, um, I don't think it's a big deal at all. Uh, I can clean them up and it doesn't cost me anything. Well, I got started on it and up to the nose on this side, we're missing a little bit on the top. I got to cut that piece in. I'm not going to do the very bottom yet. I'm going to put one more row on, I think, because I want to make sure when I glass the bottom, I can include the chine log. Um, but you can see the interior is going to look pretty good. That should give you a pretty good indication as to what we're doing over here. We've got nice tight joints on the front and back. As you can see, they butt right up. And same thing at the nose, right to the middle of the stem. It's a very, very good looking uh, piece. The wood itself right now looks a little out of sorts because... Um, it's not all the same tone, but I think once I get a good sand job on it, that should take care of the most of that. Um, not that I really care what it uh, looks like, because I don't. Um, I think the natural beauty of the wood is, is really good. In fact, I even left a, a hole down in there from where one of the knots fell out, um, just because I think it adds a little bit of character. Well, folks, that's it for today. Um, I'm about out of time. And uh, putting those planks in, believe it or not, took quite a bit of time and effort to, to kind of arch them into place. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Um, I do uh, really love uh, documenting everything that, that we've done so far here. And I hope everybody has a good week.